Welcome back to my channel. So I have not done a update video for my fitness journey slash health journey um, in a long time. And so, you know, last year I had set goals and we, we pulled out the chalkboard. And um, so this year I'm really focused on just creating a habit of working out a consistent amount of times per week. Um, and I'm focusing on intentional eating. Now, that does not mean that I don't eat out or I don't eat something that's fast food or things like that. That doesn't mean that, but for the most part, I try to focus on what I'm eating. But if I want something, I let my body have it. Um, I do not believe in like either one, starving yourself or denying yourself of things that you, you want. I think it's a lifestyle versus a diet and every day is not going to be perfect. So you just got to take it one meal at a time, one rep at a time, one day at a time. And if you fall off, so what? Start over. You're not a quitter unless you never try again. So definitely don't beat yourself up if you have in a moment, but you also have to listen to your body as well. Um, sometimes even though you have this set process in your mind, if your body is telling you to take a rest and chill, listen to your body. Um, the same thing with reps. There's a set number of, you know, you set a number of reps that you're going to do for each exercise. If you get to the end and if you get to a point where you can't do it, listen to your body, do a modification or take a break. But anyway, I actually have been getting, I've been donating to the gym for a long time. Like I remember during the pandemic, I was like, well, I'm definitely not going to the gym, but in order to cancel, they make you come into the gym to cancel. So I never went up there to do it, but I have recently started going back to the gym. So sometimes I go to the public gym and sometimes I use the gym here in my apartment complex. Um, which I really want to start going to the public gym a little bit more because when I go to the gym in my apartment complex, like you kind of get used to being able to work out alone. And so when somebody comes in, it's like oh, they could possibly mess up your workout, your mental, however you got it. So I don't want to get used to working out alone. Um, uh, you know, I like to have the whole gym to myself so I can play my music, so I can dance in the mirror, so I can hype myself up and things like that. And, um, you know, I just got to find the right time of day. Uh, and I think I found it that nobody's going to be in there. So the problem with me is my schedule is not always the same, but I do always try to get my working out. But one of the things, this is why it's a benefit to know yourself. One of the things I know about myself is that I am not going to get the workout done if I have to do it at the end of the day. Um, I just know that about myself. So I make myself work out in the morning before I do anything else so that it's already done. It's already in the books and we don't got to talk ourselves into it after whatever kind of day we have, you know? So, and then that leads me into my next thing. Like talk to yourself nice. Like what is going on? If somebody out here on the street walked up to you and called you a name or said something to you, you would not be having that. So do not have that from yourself. Don't give yourself negative self-talk. When you start to have those negative thoughts creep in, you need to combat those with a positive thought. And so one of the things that I do for things like this is before I start doing anything in the morning, that first part of the morning, is just for me. Now it might, the time might vary from person to person, but even if you can only get five to 10 minutes in, in the morning to set your intentions, it makes a great difference, especially when you make it a practice. It's just like, you know, it'll be just like, you need that little bit of me time in the morning to set your intentions. Do not look at your phone first. Do not look at the TV first. Do not start talking to people first because you don't know what is going to come at you for the day. You need to be the first one to talk to yourself and set your intentions for how you're going. What is your outlook for the day going to be? Um, if you've never tried this before, definitely spend a week and try it. Set your intentions in the morning before you start to deal with the world. Come back and comment below. I want to know if you tried it and what your results were. 
there's a few other things that I do in the morning and I do think that it's beneficial to develop a morning routine and an evening routine, but definitely start with the morning routine before you set out into the day. That morning routine will become a habit and it will definitely um, help you with a more positive mindset. So anyway, so I've been going back to the gym. I've been jumping rope. So one of my other goals is that I want to be able to jump rope for a long period of time without stopping. Like right now I can maybe do like a minute and, uh, you know, consecutively without messing up. But I want to be one of those people that can like jump rope for 10 minutes, you know? So every time I work out, I definitely work in the jump rope. And sometimes I use it on one of my active rest days for cardio as well. I'll walk, stop and jump rope, walk, stop and jump rope, walk, stop and jump rope for about 20 minutes, 20 to 30, for about 20 to 30 minutes. Um, now, this is like, like everything is trial and error. So you have to do what works best for your body. So you want to find some exercises that you could do just to get started. You would be so surprised at how working out affects the way that you feel if it affects your mood you don't really understand it until you actually do it so um all y'all people that sitting on the couch like oh girl you go ahead and work out for me oh yeah yeah just start with walking i promise you just start with that morning routine and walking i'm telling you you will feel a world of difference so let me tell you how things get turned around. Like you have to literally sometimes, sometimes you have to literally talk yourself into the workout or, or actually working out. And so let me tell y'all how it happened for me this morning. This morning, I was like, great. I got up, I meditated, I wrote in my gratitude. Did I write in my gratitude journal? I did. I got up, I meditated, I wrote in my gratitude journal. I set my intentions for the day. And I was like, the first thing I need to do the first, I was like, the first thing I need to do is go to the public gym because some of the exercises that I want to do, my gym doesn't have the equipment here in the complex that I live in. So I was like, I'm going to get up. I'm going to do what I got to do. I took a shower. I got ready. I put on my gym clothes and I get in the car. It's feeling good outside. I go get some gas and, you know, I'm going to the gym and I passed the gym. And then I had to make a U-turn. I don't know whether my, my psyche thought I was going to the grocery store, but I turn around and as I'm getting, I'm, as I'm, I turn around and as I'm preparing my mind for, okay, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to start with some cardio. And then I was thinking about the different things that I was going to do, what playlists I was going to listen to and things like that. Then I started thinking about like what I was going to eat after my workout. Then it dawned on me that when I pump my gas, I don't know where I put my card at. So now I'm like, okay, did I leave it in the gas pump? Did I drop it at the gas pump i'm checking my pockets i'm checking my wallet and mind you i'm in workout gear so i only have one little pouch with, with everything in it and it's not there so now i'm like 10 minutes away from the gas station thinking about the fact that uh where the heck is my car so do i call the bank and cancel it right or do i stop and just search my you know sometimes it falls between the seats and stuff like that do i waste time doing that or do I call the bank and cancel it and have to go through the whole hassle of being sent another card? Blah, blah, blah. So I just said, you know what? It's nothing you can do as far as the distance right now. All you can do is go back to where you last remember having your card. So I go back, right? And everybody's driving slow as I don't know what. So I get there and I jump out the car and I look and it's in between the seat and the door. So all that panic for nothing but it did make me feel like, oh, well, I'm not about to go to the gym today then, fuck that, right? Which, it was only like a little 10 minute detour, but I did reassess. I said, okay, I'm all the way back home now. I'm not going back to the gym, so let me just go to my apartment complex gym. I'm just gonna have to cut out those two exercises that I needed the actual public gym for. So I talked myself into going ahead and working out anyway, because after I went through the whole mental frenzy of I lost my bank card, I was like, I'm not about to work out. I'm about to go to breakfast. But I didn't. I worked out. And then I came in the house and I fixed breakfast, which is 10 times better than going out because all the ingredients were fresh. I know who cooked it and all of that. So anyway, I say all that to say that 
You are always going to have those days where you have to talk yourself into starting the workout. And that is like what I meant earlier about talk to yourself nice. Don't beat yourself up. Oh, you're fat ass this or you need to, you're lazy. Don't talk to yourself like that. Talk to yourself nice. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. I just wanted to come and update what I'm doing, what I'm doing now in the gym, like what I'm doing now with my workouts, what I'm doing now as far as eating and a little bit on mindset. So I will check you guys out in the next video. Um, make sure you like, share and subscribe and I'm out.